Now let us move on to the third question. The question is express the following in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So let us move on to the solution. The first decimal expansion given is 0 0.6 bar. Let us assume x is equal to 0 0.6 bar which is 0 0.666 so on. Let this be equation 1. Since in the given decimal expansion one digit is repeating, we multiply equation 1 with 1 followed by 1 0. This is 10 times x is equal to 10 times 0 0.6 bar. This gives 10x is equal to 6.6 .6 bar which is 6.666 and so on. This can be written as 10x is equal to 6 plus 0 0.6 bar. Consider this as equation 2. Now we shall subtract equation 2 and equation 1. So 10x is equal to 6 plus 0 0.6 bar minus x is equal to 0 0.6 bar. So we have 10x minus x is equal to 9x and here the 0 0.6 bar gets cancelled and we are left over with 6. Therefore 9x is equal to 6 gives x is equal to 6 by 9. Since 6 and 9 are multiples of 3, we cancel out the common factor and we are left over with 2 upon 3. Therefore the p by q form of the given decimal expansion 0 0.6 bar is 2 upon 3 where 2 and 3 are integers and the denominator is not equal to 0. Now let us move on to the second bit of the question. So the second decimal expansion given is 0 0.47 bar. So we shall assume the given decimal expansion as x. Therefore, x is equal to 0 0.47 bar, which is 0 0.477, so on. Consider this as equation 1. Since one digit is repeating in the given expansion, we multiply equation 1 with 10. That is, 10 times x is equal to 10 times 0 0.47 bar. This gives 10x is equal to 4.7 bar. This is 4.777 so on. Here 4.77 so on can also be written as 4.3 plus 0 0.477 and so on. So this is 10x is equal to 4.3 plus 0 0.47 bar. So now from the obtained equation, we shall subtract x from both LHS and RHS. So now 10x minus x is equal to 4.3 plus 0 0.47 bar minus x. So we have 10x minus x is equal to 9x which is equal to 4.3 plus 0 0.47 bar minus x is equal to 0 0.47 bar from equation 1. Therefore 9x is equal to 4.3. Hence x is equal to 4.3 by 9 which is 43 by 90 therefore the p by q form of the given decimal expansion 0 0.47 bar is 43 by 90 where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. Let us move on to the third bit of the question. The third decimal expansion given is 
zero point zero zero one bar. So we shall assume x is equal to zero point zero zero one bar, which is equal to zero point zero zero one zero zero one and so on. Consider this as equation one. Since in the given decimal expansion three digits are repeating, we shall multiply equation one with one followed by three zeros. That is thousand. Therefore, thousand times x is equal to thousand times zero point zero zero one bar. This is thousand x is equal to one point zero zero one bar. This can be written as thousand x is equal to one plus zero point zero zero one bar. Consider this as equation two. Now let us subtract equation one from equation two. Therefore, thousand x is equal to one plus zero point zero zero one bar minus x is equal to zero point zero zero one bar. Thousand x minus x gives nine hundred and ninety nine x is equal to. Here we are left over with one. So nine hundred ninety nine x is equal to one, which implies x is equal to one upon nine hundred and ninety nine. Therefore, the p by q form of the given decimal expansion zero point zero zero one bar is one by nine hundred and ninety nine, where one and nine hundred and ninety nine are integers and the denominator is not equal to zero. Now let us move on to the fourth question. The fourth question is express. Zero point nine nine nine, so on, in the form of p by q. Are you surprised by your answer? With your teacher and classmates, discuss why the answer makes sense. So let's go for the solution. So now we shall express the given decimal expansion, that is zero point nine nine nine, and so on, in the form of p by q. So let us assume x is equal to zero point nine bar. Consider this as equation one. Since in the given decimal expansion one digit is repeating, we shall multiply equation one with one followed by one zero. That is ten. So we have ten times x is equal to ten times zero point nine bar. This gives ten x is equal to nine point nine bar. This can be written as 10x is equal to 9 plus 0.9 bar. Consider this as equation two. Now we shall subtract equation one from equation two. That is, 10x is equal to 9 plus 0.9 bar minus x is equal to 0.9 bar. 10x minus x is equal to 9x, which is equal to 9. Therefore, we have nine x is equal to nine, which implies x is equal to one. Therefore, the p by q form of the given decimal expansion zero point nine 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 and so on is one. We can also say by observation that zero point nine 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 and so on is approximately equal to one, which is a rational number.